in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you're most welcome to this program, your program on Uganda Catholic Television, Good News for All. I'm Dorothy Atire Songo, and I'm very happy, so happy today that we are celebrating the Feast of Holy Missionary Childhood. It is your day, the day when you celebrate your mission, your call to doing mission. And the theme for this year, dear children, is doing mission together in communion. Children, let us pray that God of love, you create us and call us to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Give us the Holy Spirit to guide us to be the people that you desire us to be. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. Let's humble ourselves for the prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all women, and blessed the fruit of them, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our daily morning prayer. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, I surrender myself to you today. Lead me and guide me where you want me to go. Allow me to do what you want me to do. Allow me to see what you want me to see. Grant me to hear what you want me to hear. Grant me to talk what you want me to say. Protect me head to toe, front to back, side to side. Let your will be done through me. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. May each one of you present your petitions to God. Loving Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our parents, our guardians, our teachers. We thank you for having protected us. Loving Father, as we are here, may each, may each one of us play our part very well. Loving Father, please protect us as we are about to go back so that nothing bad may happen to us. Loving Father, protect our brothers and sisters. Loving Father, we pray for the street children. Some people are out there, they have nothing to eat. But who are we who are still standing here before you? In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. St. Peter. Pray for us. Uganda matters. Pray for us. All the saints in heaven. Intercede for us. May the grace. May, may the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Children, today we shall hear from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 from verse 25 to 30. And Jesus has a very special message for us where he's defining us as children and um, entrusting us with something that is very special and that is the kingdom of God. Let's listen carefully.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verse 25 to 30. At that time Jesus said, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you because you have shown me to unlearn what you have hidden from the wise and learned. Yes, Father, this is how you were pleased to have it happen. My Father has given me all things. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all of you, who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you, and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will find rest. For the yoke I give, for the yoke I'll give you is easy, and the Lord I'll put on you is light. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear children, today being your very special day, Jesus is telling us that he loves us and he's entrusting us with a gospel. He's entrusting us with all the heavenly treasures. And more so, he's entrusting us with a very great commission and the great mission of uh, helping one another, loving one another, and caring for one another. And he also reminds us that if we do not know him, then we do not know God. So we are called to know God, to know Jesus, and in knowing Jesus, then we are able to know God. But how do we know God when we are able to love one another, to care for one another, and also to be the light, to be the light to each other, and to understand our call as children, friends of Jesus, as missionaries, and we are called to be missionaries all over the world. We are called to be missionaries in Asia, in America, in our continent of Africa, in Europe, in Oceania, just like what the day today is all about, being missionaries all over the world. So children, I encourage you, let's be happy. Let's be joyful that Jesus has hidden great things from very great people, from the very, the most wise people, the most rich people, but he has entrusted us, very little children, with our little minds, our little thoughts, our little ideas, with what is important. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our memory verse, dear children, is from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verse 27. My Father has given me all things. My Father has given me all things. Jesus is telling us that God the Father has given him all things. And it means that God the Father has given us as children to Jesus. God the Father, he We pray, children, let's have our prayer intercessions, God of love. We present you all the needs of the children in the world. And we ask you to give us your Holy Spirit to guide us so that we are able to do well our mission.
let us pray for the churches all over the world and all her leaders starting from the bishops, starting from the popes, bishops, priests, and all other leaders who lead God's people in different ways, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit so as to receive the gracious gift of God's wisdom. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in the whole world, peace in our country, Uganda, peace in our families, and peace in our hearts. In the same way, we pray all leaders of all nations that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to work for the good of the people whom they are called to serve. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are suffering in a special way. Let us pray for all those who are suffering innocently that justice may be seen for their sake. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the families, especially we pray for the families of each one of us gathered here, that they may be homes where we young people learn good morals and grow as honest Christ Christians and citizens. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who are traveling, vacationers, and all those in need of our prayers, that God's constant love and protection may be theirs during their journeys, so as to reach their destination safely, so that they can continue to glorify Him. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all schools that participate in the program of this television, that the good Lord may protect and guide them in educating young people to become useful people in the society in which they live. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for ourselves gathered here that God's enduring strength and wisdom may be ours now and forever. Amen. For this, let us pray for that. Let us pray for the faithful departed, especially our brothers and sisters, friends and relatives, and all those that you have known that through the mercy of God, they may rest in peace. For this, let us pray to the Lord.
Thank you, dear children, for being part of the program. Thank you for all the children who participated in the conference that we had in preparation for, for Holy Missionary Childhood Day. Thank you, the Pontifical Commission Societies of Kampala Archdiocese and the National Office, and our dear priests, all the liturgy teachers out there, thank you for being part of the program. Thank you for always sharing with us those great ideas. And to you, dear children, thank you very much for making this your very beautiful program. I will leave you with some of the messages and some of the events that took place during the conference. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye, dear children. Thank you for being part of the program. And keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. There is a candle in every soul. Some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings the fire. Ignites a candle and makes season. Now Africa is giving Asia your candle. Run to the darkness. Seek up the helpless. Confused and torn. Hold out your. We want to see the candles up for all to see. Oceania, is it? Asia is taking to Oceania. Please let's clap our hands. Oh, like the one. Carry your candle. Run to the dark. Oceania is giving Europe. Europeans, please receive the light. For all to see it, take your Europe is giving America, and carefully, we are going to have two people to get the flags in Pola and Pola, so that we raise our candles and the flags. This candle. See now my sister, he's just born. Holds a candle without a flame. Carry a candle, run to the darkness. Seek of the In the church, when you hear anything called the pontifical, what does it mean? It is under the what? It is under the Pope. Can you say everything pontifical, all of you, is under the Pope? At the moment, which Pope? Pope Francis. So when we say pontifical, it means it is directly under the what? The Pope. So the work of children, the work of children in the missions is under the Pope. That's why it is called pontifical. It is called what? Are you also pontifical? Why? We are under the what? We are under the Pope. So today, missionary childhood continues to grow. That the work of children continues to do what? To grow. With its motto. Which, which motto? Children helping children. <coughs> we can even try to sing it. 
children helping children for now. Children helping children. Children helping children. That's the motto of children. Good. This year, we are celebrating 180 years of missionary childhood. When children are being taught to be missionaries, children are taught to be what? Children are taught to be missionaries. Okay? How many years? 180. What did I say about the Pontifical Society? What does Pontifical mean? Under the Pope. Very good. So the Pontifical Society for children, okay? Children who are under the Pope do what? They promote, they promote love among children. They promote love among what? Children. That's why a day like this, we learn to live together. We learn to work together. We learn to walk together in communion without bullying. Without what? Without bullying. Okay. Hello, my name is Santa Rosemary from St. Martin Mulago Primary School the current Sour Christ of Kampala Archdiocese. Today, I was able to attend the children's conference at St. Mary's Seminary, where a lot was discussed. During the conference, many of my fellow Vanachizito members came up with different ideas of, on how we children can play their role in different churches. Some said we have to do things like cleaning in the churches, we have to serve as altar servers in the churches. We have to respect our elders and help the needy in the community as well. And most importantly, we have to advocate for children who can't stand up for themselves. This is the most important thing. Not everyone in the world have the ability to stand up for themselves. Therefore, you the representatives, those who have been chosen, make sure you stand for those who cannot stand for themselves and make God proud. Do what, is the, what you think is the right thing to do, but make sure also what you think is the right thing to do is righteous in God's eyes. I remain Santa Rosemary Pio, your current Sour Christo. Thank you. I'm Sister Rosemary Narukwago, a daughter of Mary, commonly known as Banabikira, Sisters Buanda Masaka. Um, here in Kampala, working at the Archdiocese of Kampala as uh, a religious education advisor for primary section. I'm happy to be here with the children of Banachizito. I'm happy that these children have shown the talents they have as they have uh, being elected in different uh, ministries, leaders, I come to understand that these children are talented and fully are responsible and they can make good leaders of tomorrow. We have to journey together in this mission. Uh, it is a reason pro-life is also here to join PMS, uh, to journey with our children. Um, so our experience today with our children it was a wonderful one because uh, leadership is one of the most important elements uh, if our church is to grow and if the world is to get better. It is leadership that is most important and it is very important to groom these little children uh, to know and take up the responsibility in their hands to make the world a better place. Children, uh, when they came, for example in the morning, they didn't know how this program will be. But being that you wanted themselves to know, to be the ones to, to, to experience this kind of leadership. 
So when we, we invited them, we introduced the topic to them, they were able to come up to come up by themselves without forcing them to come and lead. Because, you know, we have selected different groups, for example, those who can be leaders in liturgy, those who can be leaders in, in sports. So it has been really very wonderful, and, and kids have, for, you know, have benefited a lot, more especially the, 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 the mission of uh, the whole childhood, and even the mission of the church which Papa Francis actually had this mission of synodality and communion. They have been presenting it very, very well to their fellow children, and they have grasped it very well. So it's a nice experience, and we believe as a church that this younger generation, because they are the future church of ours, and uh, they, they, they have grasped their role as children in the church, as you have seen, they have been so well much, you know, mentioning them as children, their role. And being a missionaries also, uh, to pray for other children in the other continents, as you are seeing them here, Africa, Asia, um, America, Europe, Oceania, and others. They are children all from those continents. So these children, they are, what they have taken home is that it's their responsibilities to pray, to be missionary by praying uh, to those children in those continents at the back of their mind, knowing that also that they are the future church. So this conference it has been training them to grasp their role, even the future and even at the moment.